Hey there! For just a little bit, I have to keep the mic in the shot until I get moved into my recording space. That way you don't really have to hear as much road noise because the road's right outside my room. Please bear with me, it'll get better from here. Hey guys, I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News, and this week has been a big week for NVIDIA with the paper launch of the GTX 1080 and 1070. Intel's Core i7 7700K KB Lake chip info comes out, some developments with AMD's Summit Ridge and more, all coming up. It's nice to see some numbers, however nebulous, to get an idea of what's to come. NVIDIA's GTX 1080, which as I mentioned earlier, got paper launched today alongside the 1070. The 1080 recently gained a couple entries in FutureMark's online database, FutureMark being the developer of 3DMark. One source using a system running an i7-5820K CPU scored P19005 on 3DMark 3D Mark 11, excuse me, while the second running a Core i7-3770K pulled 8959 from 3D Mark Fire Strike Extreme. These results kind of chalk the GTX 1080 as being faster than the 980 Ti. This just gets me excited for when Nvidia hopefully releases a GTX 1080 Ti, which is like... They're gonna do it. I mean... They're gonna freaking do it. We finally got a clear look into Intel's upcoming Core i7-7700K CPU, a 14 nanometer KB Lake chip. A quad-core chip like the seven generations preceding it with the usual hyper-threading, it being an i7, gives it a total of eight logical CPUs. It will come clocked at 3.6 gigahertz out of the box, hitting 4.2 on Turbo Boost, up 200 megahertz over the previous generation's 6700K. The 7700K's IMC will run at 4 GHz. The integrated graphics will have 24 execution units, the same cache setup as the Skylake 6700K, on and on and on and on. Intel has been doing this same exact formula pretty much for quite a while now. The Core i7 brand first launched almost 8 years ago, I think, in December 2008. And it's been nearly a decade of quad-core chips at about the same price point the whole time, and judging from... Some of the comments on the Tech Power Up website, people would really love to see some more cores in a mainstream chip by Intel. I mean, freaking AMD has been doing octa-cores for years. I guess enough people are upgrading, though, because Intel is still building chip after chip after chip, climbing one rung on the ladder at a time. That's really good. It's really good. We like cores, please. I just spit. Silicon Lottery over at OCN. Silicon? Silicon? Whatever. Got a hold of Intel's upcoming i7-6950X, a new flagship chip with an amazing 10 cores with hyper-threading for a total of 20 freaking logical CPUs, 25 megabytes of L3 cache, and quad-channel DDR4 memory support. The chip is likely going to be over $1,000 because it's Intel and it, anything premium is like freaking gold dust or whatever. That was stupid. Silicon Lottery pushed their chip to 4.5 GHz and pitted it against the older i7-5960X octa-core. Testing both chips in the same system, the 6950X, pulled a Cinebench R15 score of 2,327 points at that 4.5 GHz overclock. With both chips clocked at 4 GHz, however, it pulled 1,904 points, 19.5% higher than the 5960X, which is, which is a number I forgot to put in my script, so... Here it is on the screen. Extra cores really give that nice new chip a whole lot of kick. On a related note to the 6950X, industry partners who hold engineering samples of the soon-to-be-released CPUs tend to make a pretty penny off of them on eBay. One owner of a Core i7-6950X 10-core processor managed to fetch $1,950 US dollars. Picks from the listing indicate the chip, at least this particular sample, is a 3 gigahertz chip, likely at 140 watt TDP built on Intel's 14 nanometer Broadwell E architecture for LGA 2011 V3 boards. Later this month, you should hopefully be able to just update your BIOS and plop the chip right in your system. If you have a Broadwell system, I guess. AMD's Summit Ridge may only be available in octocore form early in life. According to bits and chip sources, AMD may potentially employ a common 8-core Zen-based CPU die for different SKUs. AMD's lineup would contain two very different types of processors. Bristol Ridge based APUs with a built-in IGP, and Summit Ridge CPUs, which have no onboard graphics. If you're looking for between two and four cores, the Bristol Ridge would be your best bet, good for like HTPCs and budget gaming setups. While Summit Ridge CPUs will present a more premium solution with eight cores. You know, 
affordable eight cores. Like Intel should be doing too. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. Naturally, I can't fit absolutely everything that happens each week into these videos, but luckily we have a website, techpowerup.com, where we post the latest news. Here's a link for that right here. Run on this space. Should be like a video or something. I'll put it in later. I don't know what I'm going to do. Also, in the same vein, we have the forums where you can... Teleprompter move. We have the forums where you can ask questions, read up on other people's experience with different tech, you name it. That is right here. That is where the link will be. And here is another link that's still sitting there. Pick one. Oh yeah. Clicky clicky. I ain't forgetting that one. I freaking click something.